Hi, I'm John Fluvog, and I am a shoe designer, and I have retail stores, and I'm a Canadian, and I live in Vancouver, Canada. People ask me often, how do, where do I find inspiration for my shoes? And I always uh, struggle with that a little bit. I go, uh, um, because they just pop into my brain. They just come to me. And they come to me in quiet times. Uh, they'll come to me, maybe I could be sitting at a stoplight in my car or riding my bicycle, and they'll just come into me. And sometimes they chase me down. Like they come into my mind and they keep reoccurring. And uh, I, have to, I have to start to write them down. I don't see things all at once as well. I see bits and parts of them. Uh, men's shoes and women's shoes obviously uh, differentiate a lot. And right now we're going through a time where men are being men and girls are being girls, which is in fact a little bit more fun in a lot of ways and more challenging because men's shoes are getting more traditional. So it's putting unusual little twists in the, in the tradition, little details. Detailing is important. Um, all of men's things, detailing is highly important. It's the tiny little things for guys that make a big difference. Whereas girls are a little more like shabam in your face, you know, like they'll, they'll, they'll do things. But guys are all about subtleties, and subtly, subtleties matter, and they do. Well, footwear is probably, I think if you ask girls, they'll tell you that, that when, they'll, when they meet a man, the first thing they're going to look at is the shoes. You ask around, check it out. I think you're going to find that out, because it's the last thing that guys think about. They'll, you know, they'll put together, they'll get themselves a nice leather jacket or a pair of slacks, but they'll slam, they'll slam on a pair of beaters on their feet, you know, and it's like, ugh, it wrecks the whole thing. If you've got a man that, that looks at the details of his footwear, um, it says something about you, about who you are, that when you're, that the foundation that you put yourself together on is meaningful to you, and um, it's important to start from the bottom up. And then build your outfit up from that. I mean, you know, today I'm wearing like green shoes. Well, I didn't buy a, well, I don't have anything else green on. Oh, well, no, I don't actually. But you start with something interesting here and then you can mix and match it, you know? And that's the fun part. It's harder to find interesting footwear uh, than it is to find an interesting colored pant or jacket or anything like that. So I say start with the shoes, but hey, I'm a shoe guy. Well, I would never, I never have, I never wear anything that's too popular. Like, I'll never wear one of my best-selling shoes. I just don't because, because I don't want to look like everybody else. <laughs> Partly true. Come on, socks are like a big hairy deal. It's all about the details. It's all about wearing a bit of BAM color down there, you know? And it's like, it's the subtle things. Um, it's the things you don't see right away, that they're, they're hidden and suddenly you see them and you go, whoa, there it is. Those are, those are big deals. Those are important for, uh, for us to, as an expression of who we are, to have those hidden little secrets that pop out once in a while. So yeah, socks are a big deal. But hey, shoes are bigger, okay? <laughs> <laughs>